Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being back so we can resume. But why I don't see other colleagues that you are here? Okay. Why can't you, can you come closer? No? All right. Um, I can force you. Um, good evening again. This evening we have uh, two keynote speakers, Professor Gary Bailey and Dr. Stella Peter Squeers. We are expecting the ministers to come to, among them the Prime Minister. So when they come, they will be introduced when they arrive. So the first person to be invited to the floor will be Dr. Letty uh, Rock from ASPI. And after the presentation, after the speech, we will uh, show a video and then uh, continue with the academic uh, lectures, awaiting the lectures. Let me, Dr. Letty, let me walk, please. Thank you. National Federation of Social Workers, the Honorable Hensley Kingman, former Minister of Social Development and Wellbeing, Dr. Stella Peters Squares, Mr. Keith Carlo, Vice President of the Association of Caribbean social work educators, distinguished keynote presenters, colleagues, awardees, awardee, and I'm not giving a name at this point in time, students. Especially invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, from our team. I know this, we are fewer in number than this morning, but I hope that the participants who are not here are on their way. <clears throat> now, on behalf of the executive members of ACSWE, I am truly delighted to welcome all of you to Curso and to this 11th Biennial Conference of Caribbean and International Social Work Educators. It was just two years ago that we convened the 10th Biennial Conference on the beautiful island of Martinique in the French Caribbean. Once again, ACSWE is making history, not only for the association, but also for Curacao. Because it is the first time that a group of English-speaking social workers will be gathering for a conference of this magnitude on this island. In many ways, we owe this initiative to Dr. Keith Carroll, who began attending the ACS Biennial Conferences and found that they present a most wonderful opportunity to meet Caribbean and international social work colleagues. To those of you who have come from the English, French, and Spanish-speaking countries, you will have a unique opportunity not only to enjoy the hospitality of the people of Curacao, but also to learn to speak Dutch and Papiamento. 
I'm not going to say too many of those five minutes words this evening. But I can assure you, based on my experience and visiting here so before, that you will find your hosts very friendly and hospitable. They have been earnestly preparing to ensure that all of you have a most enjoyable stay. Now this conference is taking place at an, at an exciting time in the history of social work. A time when the international social work organizations, the International Association of Schools of Social Work, the International Federation of Social Workers, and the International Council on Social Welfare are working together as they roll out the new global agenda for social work and social development. And I know you will hear more about this from Professor Bailey. This agenda, which was launched at the United Nations in 2012, must be seen as a social work profession, as a social work profession's initiative to engage all its members around the world in making a commitment to social development. As social workers, we are therefore being challenged to commit to four action agenda items, namely, the promotion of social and economic equalities, the promotion of the dignity and worth of peoples, the promotion of sustainable communities and environmentally sensitive development, and the promotion of well-being through sustainable human relationships. Within the agenda, there are some priority areas that are being highlighted for action, and these include the aging population, poverty, disability, ethnic diversity, environmental sustainability, and community development, and family functioning. At the level of these three organizations, work is almost complete on the development of a new international definition for social work. A definition that should definitely help us to establish our place as a profession globally. During the conference, as a matter of fact, just a couple of hours ago, there was a human rights workshop, and we are hoping that at some point in time, we can also, at this, at this conference, make a presentation on the global agenda and the proposed new social work definition. This evening, we will also be presenting the ACSWE Distinguished Social Work Educators Award to a social worker who has been in the profession working earnestly for more than 20 years. And you will hear more about the criteria for granting this award to the particular awardee. Throughout this conference, as a matter of fact, tomorrow, we will be holding meetings of the CASA, that is the North American and Caribbean Association of Schools of Social Work. There will be also a board meeting of the Editorial Committee of the Caribbean Journal of Social Work. And on Wednesday, there will be the ACSWE Biennial General Meeting, which I hope that many of you, if not all of you, will be able to attend. For those of you who are eligible to manage with ACSWE, I encourage you to sign up so that you can vote for new president and executive. <coughs> the plan of this conference took an inordinate amount of time of several people. And I know that he can tell you all of the challenges that he has encountered and is still in function. But at this time, I would like to express sincere thanks to the government and people of Curso, the private sector in Curso, and the hardworking conference organizing committee, and the members of the ACS Executive Committee, including Dr. Peter Ambaker, advisor to the committee, for their contributions toward making this conference 
of reality. But I also want to thank you, our participants, for your support. Without you, there would be no conference. And of course, some of you have been attending our biennial conferences since 2003. And in our audience, I know that there are a couple of people who have been doing so. Dr. Blair Matthews, Professor Lynn Healy, is there anyone else? Since 2003. Bowie. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Sylvester Bowie, I can't quite see what was from the distance from California, believe it or not. And um, then, of course, there's some Caribbean um, social work educators who have also been following the conferences. And our Bowden, Dr. Eric Bowden from the U.S., he's also been supporting us quite, he's just missed a few of these conferences. But I just want you to know that we have some long-term supporters. And I firmly believe that as we continue to work together, we can achieve what the politicians are still striving to achieve, and that is true Caribbean regional integration. No matter our conferences, we always like to identify the mix of our gathering and where our participants have traveled from. And of course, this was done this morning. Keith very ably uh, had all our participants respond in the name of their country was called, and we recognized we had a mix of over 25 countries present here at this conference, and that's excellent. <coughs> but I would like to acknowledge the presence of um, one or two of our colleagues who have come for the first time, let me put it this way. They're not keynote presenters, but I was able to, uh, to encourage them to come, 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 come to Carousel. Well. And even though they did not plan it a long time, they decided that they would come. And so I would like to mention Dr. Judy White from, who is the Dean of the School of Social Work from the University of Virginia, Saskatchewan. Are you here, Judy? Oh, there's Judy. <laughs> I would also like to recognize Dr. Kathy Hogarth. Is Kathy, are you here? Okay. <laughs> Kathy is here from, and I forgot the school, so could you tell us something? University of Waterloo. She's here from the University of Waterloo School of Social Work. And, and these are two persons that I just recently said, you know, you have to come to Carousel, and they're here. So we thank you for your support. Now, I also wanted to recognize the presence of our own John Maxwell, but he's not here yet. He has a disability. I call him Mr. Resilient. John was actually one of the people who had to form the Caribbean Association of Social Work Educators. And he uh, is very much Jamaican, no current Jamaican Yankee. But I want you to know that he was the 2004 recipient of a very distinguished social work award that is the IASSW, the Catherine Kendall Memorial Award. That is given by the International Association of Schools of Social Work. <clears throat> I want at this time to just quickly mention, because I might not have the opportunity to invite you again, the fact that the International Association of Schools of Social Work, I think Gary, we can promote it some more, and the International Council on Social Welfare and the International Federation of Social Workers will be hosting a global social work congress in Melbourne, Australia. And we expect all of you to be present. So it means you have to start saving. It's a year away. Save a penny a day. You'll get there. I want you to know that the call for papers has also been published. And you can find that call for papers on the website of all three organizations. Okay. To our colleagues 
from Holland, the Dutch Caribbean, and Latin America, it is truly a delight to have your participation in this conference. And I know that Keith worked tirelessly to get your involvement in this event. And that's wonderful. It's wonderful to see you all. And so, the same, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I just want to thank all of you for supporting us in this conference. And as the board president of ACSWE, I really want to wish you a most enjoyable stay in, in uh, Pearsall and a most enjoyable conference. And I want that you really participate in all of the sessions that the presenters have traveled far and wide to share with you. So without further ado, I just want to thank you and have a very enjoyable time here in Pearsall.